Hello YouTubers and uh, Facebook fans and friends and Wichitinians alike. Um, I'm going to be uh, starting up a new project and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to tell you about what we need. But uh, first I want to uh, call out to all airsofters in the Wichita area, both men and women alike. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because they already have the props that we're going to be needing for the new projects we're starting up video-wise. I have a friend uh, that has both the technology for shooting videos and the software to help with v VFX. That being said, we could still use people that are willing to help, both in the video area and in the VFX software and sound equipment area. So if you have that kind of skill, we would definitely like to put it to the test and put your name out there and definitely um, use you as a media to get these projects done. As you know, movies are great and actors are great too, but the true star are the people that get the job done and are often not even seen. So if you guys uh, have that kind of skill, we would greatly appreciate it and would love to use you um, and use your talent to get this kind of thing done. That being said, I'm going to show you and tell you about a few of the things that we're going to need for these films and tell you a little bit about what they are and what they're going to be about. Now, these films are going to be action films, which there are no short amount of them. That being said, on YouTube, there are not a lot of good action films or they're often too short. So, what we're wanting to do is a mini-series of sorts, and um, based on the demand for them, or of that sort of thing, we're going to expand on them. What we want to do is uh, have the props from Airsofters, as I um, said before, they can be broken guns, or they could be that sort of thing, but we'd also like to have people with the fake body armor, the camo, that sort of, you know, the the, mil the milsim kind of attitude, because both these game these uh, shows are going to be based on post-apocalyptic situations or war scenarios. That being said, we'll need things like airsoft guns. Like this one, for instance, my Car 98 that I listed in one of my airsoft videos a little while back. Now, that being said, it looks real because it's made of wood and steel. The only difference is this fires pellets instead of a projectile propellant, um, such as, um, you know, uh, powder of some sort. That being said, uh, if you could remove the tip, that would be great for the film. Um, now, if you're going to play, of course, you have to keep that on. But the reason why we want airsoft guns is because they look more real. The reason why we're not using real steel guns is because there's a big issue with damaging the guns in filming. So we really don't want people to harm the weapons that they paid for that are often very expensive. But we would like to see some guns like this or, you know, better AEGs of that sort because we want the best possible quality in many ways and one of them could be through guns and costuming that being said we are also looking for young adults um, and uh, also youth to be a part of these videos we need kids grown-ups and uh, adults and young adults um, for this kind of filming because we need people of all different types of demographics to be a part of this we're going to have six main characters but we're also going to need people that are willing to play the secondary roles such as zombies in one case and rogues and townspeople in another um, there will be no short of action in these films, but, um, I will tell you that, uh, we are definitely looking for all kinds of people, but at the same time, we also want to put out quality. So we want people that are trying to act to have a, uh, the, put their best foot forward as far as acting goes and B, have the ability to commit to the film and stick with it to the very end of each episode. Now, um, if you have reoccurrence problems or not, or are not able to commit to major roles like uh, many people are wanting to, uh, I would suggest that you go for a minor role. We, and if you have time that frees up over time, we will be able to um, fit you into the schedule and maybe make you into a more prominent character. That being said, the more prominent characters, such as me and some other people that are heading up the project, um, we're looking for people that are able to commit and stick with it and not just flake out the, uh, when they don't see it as convenient for them uh, we're looking for people that are willing to go in for the long haul. Uh, you know, like in a lot of movies, if they change the main character, it ticks a lot of people off. Well, it's the similar situation, but it also takes time out of us, so we have to figure out how to f uh, walk around the issue. So, if we're looking for committed people, we don't want people that are only half-hearted about the project. We want people that are committed and mature in this situation, because remember, this project is, is a film. It is not, you know, just some play date that we can go around and just waste our time on. Um, that being said, uh, like I said, airsofters are very important, but we're looking for all kinds of people. We're looking for uh, 
both men, women, uh, elderly folks, and even younger uh, kids and uh, high schoolers, middle schoolers. We're looking for that sort of thing. We want to make it diverse, but we also want to put action in it, and these sequences do take time. We need all kinds of different people. Um, now, let me tell you about the first project. The first project is going to be a DayZ slash Skyrim style thing, where it's going to be a group of friends that are playing an online game and each of the characters uh, will be relatable through an online window at the end of the episode where you can customize the character now as these characters like these younger characters that are playing these games are uh, acting out their own little YouTube slash uh, movie series on the game so it's kind of like an inception in a way but um, getting back to the story they're, as their characters get go through all the trouble they're going through, their characters can also be customized by the main character, which means they'll start out with bare bones. They're, they're going to be, you know, very simple characters with t-shirts and pants, but as you, as you progress through the storyline, they're going to get a lot bigger, a lot better, and a lot more battle-hardened with better items and better armor and um, just better action sequences. And as those characters progress and grow, they um, become better friends and that sort of thing. Um, the next one, and that's going to be a zombie style video. Now, the next one is going to be a post apocalyptic war scenario uh, where you have a bunch of people that are roaming out in the open plains and uh, looking for civilization to uh, call home in a world that's been torn by war. Uh, now, we're looking for younger people to do this. Um, people with, of course, the tactical gear. Uh, it doesn't have to be vests, it can be chest rigs, or maybe even a backpack and a fake rifle of some sort. Um, but we're looking for people that are willing to commit to this sort of thing as well. That being said, there will be enemies such as marauders, uh, bandits, and uh, thugs, that sort of thing, but uh, we'll be willing to add more characters as the story progresses and as more people pick into the story and as they get picked up by the main group. Um, so, uh, we are willing to do a lot of the zombie scenarios. I know that the world is oversaturated with a lot of zombie shows, but unfortunately not a lot of them are very good. That being said, uh, we want to give out the best possible quality that we can for an indie film group. So, I mean, we, we want to put out something that is both relatable, has a good story, and people are willing to look at and enjoy it. So, if you guys in the Wichita area, like I said before, are willing to uh, help us out with this situation and see if you guys have the chops for acting or some kind of VFX or uh, some kind of tech worker, we would be we would gladly accept applications. Um, if you are uh, willing to do so and you know me, uh, just go on my face page. It's Jesse D Hill. I'm very easy to find. I also have a YouTube uh, page called Ruffleberry Pwn Cake. Uh, cake is K-A-C because I ran out of letters. And also you can Skype me and my name is Ruffle, R-O-F-L dash Riffic, R-I-F-F-I-C. So if you guys want to put in an application in the Wichita area, we would definitely appreciate it. Um, for all those who are out uh, wanting to support us, uh, just likes and subscriptions would really help. Um, get, you know, just pass it around. If you have friends in our area, please tell them about it. We would welcome an application from them. Remember, guys, these sort of things start out very small, but they can become a big deal. So if you guys are interested, please um, pass it around and, uh, you know, uh, just like it. You know, be, if you guys want to be a, every bit counts. Uh, thank you very much, guys, and have a nice